All right, we are looking at the reading for Leo for the cool sign for um, the remainder of the fourth quarter of the moon and moving into the new moon. So let's just see what we've got coming up for the next like four days or something like that for Leo. All right, so our root card is a page of cups. So main card is an eight of swords. All right, so the page of cups, the page of cups is not a card of commitment. The page of cups is a card of experience, right? So the page, this is about being emotionally open and just sort of having the experience that is there. Like the page and the fish, he helps the fish get back to the ocean. The fish rewards him with a pearl. But the fish is going to swim away, right, as soon as he goes back into the water. So it shows um, the potential for really good interactions, harmonious stuff but they are not meant to be permanent. So that is like the root of what's happening is sort of looking for these temporary harmonious experiences. And keep in mind that the page is not a card of commitment. So the main card is the Eight of Swords. And this basically shows kind of being trapped and it's fear and anxiety and all that stuff. And it does show... A way in which we are trapped that is not permanent also. Uh, and here the sun is coming up and it's going to put an end to this dark night and the nightmare. So what I want to do is see, here you can see the moon is fucking with their head and it's trying to get them to jump out the window. So let's just pull a card to see what that moon energy is. And the Five of Swords is insult. So this is basically like troll energy. And um, it's messages, it's things that people say that are specifically meant to anger you. And with the Five of Swords, I mean, it tends to be the case that to... It's like don't feed the trolls, right? To give this energy any... Um, value at all is just to lose. Uh, the the soldier in the five has the advantage. Like the people of the city have already surrendered, which you can see in this white flag back here. The people of the city have surrendered. This is a victorious soldier, and he's just taunting them at this point. So there's some taunting trollish energy that we can't do anything about, and here it is really kind of like screwing with our heads, and it, it is temporary though, it is almost over, but that's kind of got us held in place. Now, let's just see what else we got here. Let's see the real danger. The real danger is falling down on the swords, right? So, the real danger, three of wands, so the danger would actually be losing some things that we've put a lot of energy into. This is uh, like a, a long-term um, relationship or it's like a long-term project that just requires nurturing and patience and not anger. You know, here's the defensive territorial mask back here. And that shit is turned backwards because that ain't going to help anything, you know. And here you see also the moon blowing. This is a blessing in this case. So basically falling victim to the trollish energy could actually cause us to either abandon some things that we've had going for a while or, you know, to give them some of this anger that we've got going on or frustration and that shit isn't going to help. So, let's just see what we can do about this. 
other than wait, you know, and try not to freak out, but let's see if there is a positive thing. And we get the reversed fool. Now, the fool is at the beginning of a brand new journey, the brand new stage of life. It's like a new chapter. And the superpower of the fool is having no expectation. They have no idea what's coming. And that way, they're really open to everything that's around them. And that openness is really important when this is the energy that wants to happen in the Page of Cups. Now, the fool reversed is just chock full of expectation and fear. So they don't actually see what is happening around them because they're too busy superimposing all of their fears and expectations onto the world that they don't see what is actually there. So, no expectation and no fear um, seems like it's the way to go. Let's just see if there's any other guide card here. And we get the King of Swords. All right. So, the King of Swords is not an emotional card. So one of the things here, even though it's this emotional sort of openness that is trying to happen, we cannot be baited by our emotions. Here, there's a bunch of things that are going to try to trigger us, we'll say. And the King of Swords, like uh, one of my heroes, Jean-Luc Picard, the King of Swords is like Jean-Luc. And Jean-Luc Picard isn't going to be baited or triggered, right? Jean-Luc is very logical, and he makes decisions based on logic and reason, not on emotion. That's why people listen to him, because he's such a great leader. So, I mean, as a guide, if you're a Star Trek fan or are familiar with it at all, you can kind of use Jean-Luc Picard as, as a model here. And it's like, what would Jean-Luc do? He probably wouldn't get pissed and abandon something that he's put a lot of energy into just because um, he was feeling really shitty that day or people were making fun of him or whatever, you know. Um, and there's also a commanding presence that happens in the King of Swords, but that comes with emotional maturity, and it is also really about looking at something, I mean, the emotional maturity would lead to the ability to see just logic and reason, right? So just trying to see things logically and making, giving orders if you have to, like, don't be afraid to wield the power that you have, um, just try not to make sure that you are falling victim to a troll. So that's what we have here. It looks like some things are, I wouldn't say opening up necessarily, but this is like a whole new thing. You know, this is like stepping into a new dimension. Uh, more than your current situation opening up, it's like everything is kind of fucking changed. So really being open to the fact that you're in a whole new scenario um, is going to be the important thing here. So that's what we get for Leo. If you have any comments or questions, let me know and peace out.